Civil war veteran poses with a fighter jet. This interesting picture shows a supposed Civil War veteran from Florida enjoying himself next to a fighter jet. Claiming to be a member of the Confederate Army, William Lundy was 107 when this photo was snapped for an article in the Boston Traveler in 1955. It should be noted that Lundy's actual age and military service have been heavily disputed over the years. William Lundy was allegedly born near Troy, in Pike County, Alabama, on January 18, 1848, also reported at Coffee Springs, Coffee County. He is said to have enlisted in the last days of March 1864, at age 16, Company D, Brown's, 4th Alabama Cavalry Regiment, Home Guard, at Elba, and to have been honorably discharged at Elba in May 1865, on account of the close of the war. He moved his family to Laurel Hill in 1890, where he ended. His wife, Mary Jane Lassiter, raised 10 children. He was granted a Confederate soldier's pension in Florida, number 8948, of $600 per annum to be paid effective from June 12, 1941. However, 1,860 census records suggest that Lundy was born in 1859, which would mean that he was only six years old at the end of the Civil War implying that he could never have fought in it and 98 when he died. In addition, research in 2016 suggested that no evidence in favor of either Lundy or his father having served could be found. The plane pictured is North American F-100 Super Sabre. The F-100 flew extensively over South Vietnam as the Air Force's primary close air support jet until being replaced by the more efficient subsonic LTV A-7 Corsair IL. The F-100 also served in other NATO Air Forces and with other U.S. allies. In its later life, it was often referred to as the Hun, a shortened version of 100. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel.